In this tutorial, I'll show you how to replace the Nvidia Shield TV's launcher with a custom launcher using a Mac computer. The Nvidia Shield TV's default launcher is pretty bloated and now has ads. So the custom launcher will completely replace the default launcher. So every time you turn on the Nvidia Shield or press the home button on the remote, it'll take you to the custom launcher. Also, this process is totally reversible. We won't actually be deleting any system files or anything. Watch my other video to see how to revert back to the default launcher. You can use any custom launcher you want, but in this video, I'll be using F Launcher, which you can see here. This tutorial will be the same regardless of which launcher you use. I'm using F Launcher because it's completely free and ad free, it has a minimalistic appearance, and offers good customization. This is a Mac tutorial, so you will need a Mac computer to complete this. I'll also have a Windows tutorial video too. Also, this will work for all versions of the Nvidia Shield TV. So let's begin. First, we're gonna to need to download a custom launcher that you will replace the default launcher with. You can go to the Google Play Store and search launcher and find one you like, but I'm gonna download F Launcher. Once it's finished installing, return to the home page and go to the settings icon on the top right corner. Go down to device preferences. Go to about and go down to build and click it seven times. you'll see a message that you are now a developer. Hit back on the remote to return to device preferences and go down to developer options. Go down to network debugging and turn it on. Wait until it shows an IP address and write the entire number down. Now on your Mac, you'll need to download the Android SDK platform tools. I'll have all the links in the description box below. Scroll down and download SDK platform tools for Mac. Scroll down, accept the terms and download a file. Once it's downloaded, double click the file to extract it. You should see a folder called Platform Tools. Move this folder to your desktop. This is important. You can just drag and drop the folder to your desktop if it's not already there. Now open Terminal. You can hit the search icon on the top right corner and type in Terminal and hit Enter. Now we're going to copy and paste several lines of code into Terminal. All of the lines of code will be in the description box below. First, we're going to change the directory to the platform tools folder. Copy and paste the first code into terminal. Make sure you change username to the username of your Mac. If you forgot your username, your username is displayed in terminal followed by a dollar sign. My username is MacBook. Now hit enter to execute the line of code. Next, we're going to connect to the Nvidia Shield TV. Make sure your MacBook and Nvidia Shield TV are on the same Wi-Fi network. Copy and paste the second line of code, followed by the IP address we obtained earlier. Then hit enter. You should see a message that it failed. Go to the Nvidia Shield TV and you should see a network debugging pop-up. Hit OK to allow your computer to connect. Now go back to your Mac and make sure you're connected. Copy and paste the code with your IP address again. And hit enter. It should say you're connected. Next, we're gonna disable Android TV Home. 
Copy and paste the third line of code and hit enter. You should see a message, the new state is disabled user. Next, we're gonna disable Android TV core. Copy and paste the fourth line of code and hit enter. Next, we're gonna disable lean back launcher. Copy and paste the fifth line of code and hit enter. And finally, we're gonna disable lean back launcher recommendations. Copy and paste the sixth line of code and hit enter. The default launcher is now disabled. If you wanna restore the default launcher, you just need to re-enable everything we've disabled. Now on your Nvidia Shield TV, as soon as we enter that last line of code, it should have automatically switched to the launcher we downloaded. If you have more than one launcher installed, you should see a pop-up allowing you to choose which launcher you want to use. And that's it. The custom launcher will now be the default launcher. I'll show you around F launcher. If you go to settings, you can edit the categories. I'm going to remove the non-TV applications category. I'm going to rename the TV applications to apps. You can make the icons bigger. And you can also change the view to rows and it'll display your apps in a row. You could change the wallpaper. They have the unsplash option, which is really cool. You can cycle through different high-res wallpapers in various categories. If you want to keep it simple, you could change to a gradient wallpaper. And you can also use your own custom wallpaper. You can access the NVIDIA Show TV settings by going to Android Settings. And you can long press the apps and reorder them and also remove them from the list. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.